Welcome back children. This is Ansu here. Today we will start discussing the second chapter manipulating images using Jim. So shall we move on to the contents page? Today we are going to discuss about starting a gym program. What is the method to start a gym program? And what are the different parts of a gym window? That is what we need to learn today. Let's start with starting gym. GNU Image Manipulation Software is an open source software that allows you to edit images. It is a software which is open to all to edit images or pictures. GNU Image Manipulation Program is the full form of GIM. It contains various tools that helps you to select a specific area of an image. It helps you with a lot of tools allowed in it to select a particular area of your given image. It adds text to images. It helps you to add text to your image means it helps you to put even words in your images. Remove unwanted content that is whatever is not needed in the image can be removed from it that is you can crop it if you need it and add color to your drawing. It helps you to add more color to your drawing. I'll repeat one more time. It contains various tools that helps you to select a specific area of the image, add text to your images, remove unwanted color and add color to your image. Jim has a drawing mascot called Wilbur. The picture of Wilbur is kept on the right. This is the Wilbur image who helps you while working with Jim. The mascot of Jim is Wilbur. Next we need to learn how to start a gym program. That is very easy. You need to first click on the start button. Where is the start button in your system? You can find the start button in the left bottom corner of your desktop. Click on the start button. A list will come up. In that you have to click on all programs. Click on the all programs option. Then the list of all programs appears. From that, you have to look for Jim 2. As per your textbook, this is Jim 2, but newer versions have come now. So, you have to understand that the version will not be 2. It will be more advanced one if you download it and try. Shall we move on to the next slide? Now, we need to discuss about the different parts of a Jim window. What are the different parts that you can find in a gym window? The explanations are in the following slides. I would just like to read out the different parts of the gym window now. Look at my cursor movements. You will be able to see it very easily. Now, the area here that is called the image title bar. As the name suggests, it shows the title of your image. This is the image title bar. Below that, you have the menu bar. That is free file, edit, select, view. All these belongs to the menu bar. And on the left side, please look. Icons that you need for modifying your picture is in the mail toolbox. It is in the main toolbox. Below that, you have the tools option dialog box that is how to change the size of your tool now on the right side you have the layers dialog that is you can put one image on top of the other and you can put all the layers together add it place it and create a new image for that you need the layers dialog you can work on more than one images at the same time the layers dialog is for that purpose now Below that, you can see brush patterns and gradients dialog. I'll explain the names of 
the parts of the window one more time the first thing is the title bar which shows the name of the file then below it you have the menu bar on the left side you have the main toolbox below that you have the tool options dialog box on the right side you have the layers dialog below that you have the brushes and patterns gradient dialog let's see it one by one in the next slide there are three standard windows available within the main gym window in the main gym window you saw there are three standard windows one is the toolbar window the middle one is for the screen editing and all and the right side is for the layers section the image window this window displays an image in gym gym allows you to open different images in separate windows you can open multiple images at a time the image window is the one in the middle it helps you to open one image or more than one image at the same time image title bar this bar displays the name of the image i already told you in the previous slide the title bar always suggests the name of the image menu bar this bar contains the main menu commands whatever you need to do all these operations lie in the menu bar the next one is main toolbox it displays different options for the currently selected tool you can select the required options from the section and apply it on your image you have an image you need to cut it then you have to look for the crop tool right or the scissors if you want to change the color of the picture you have to select the color from somewhere and apply it with brush strokes on your image right for that also you need different types of tools from the main toolbox on the right side you have the layers dialog box the layers allow you to work with one segment of an image at a time that is it allows you to work on a particular area of the image at a time you can add multiple layers to an image in gym that is you can add more than one layers in your image and work on it layer by layer this section displays the layer structure for a currently open image it shows the layer structure for the one that you are working on now the previous layers will lie below it but you cannot see it it will only show the one that you are currently working on or you are working on right now you can edit the layers in an image from the dialog from this dialog box you can edit you can make changes on each layer of your image that you have added brushes patterns and gradient dialog it allows you to manage brushes patterns and gradients of an image it allows you to work on the different types of brushes that are available the patterns that are available and the gradients that are needed to change the color schemes of your system with this we come to the end of today's presentation i would like you to go through these portions in your textbook after seeing this video and understand the concept thank you